friends hope you are doing well myself Aki and welcome back on my channel eat and travel guide today we will explore Sikandra the tomb of Akbar He was the third Mughal emperor and also the architect of Mughal Empire in India. During Emperor Akbar's rule, his empire witnessed some of the best monuments that categorize as Mughal style of architecture and Sikandra or Akbar's tomb is one of them. The complex has four imposing gateways, although the northern gate suffered some lightning damage. The eastern and the western gates feature stucco work, mosaics and dome shaped pavilions called Chatri. At the moment you can see south gate, it's the most impressive gateway and the main entrance to the mausoleum. It's a huge central archway. intricate mosaic work and four white marble minarets each crowned by a chhatri besides red sandstone and white marble you can see some other colored stones which are laid into cavities of sandstone The tomb is situated in the middle of the garden which is divided into four parts. The garden is surrounded by walls on all sides. Each part of the garden has a water channel and a terrace. There are also food paths on the side of each quarter. Even Akbar was illiterate, he showed a profound interest in literature and the arts. The artisans who migrated with his father from Persia brought their styles which mingled with native styles of India. Akbar's dream was to create a blend of religious themes befitting of his well-known tolerance of spiritual beliefs.
Emperor Akbar started work on Sikandra and his own mausoleum in 1602 and it was completed by his son Jahangir in 1608, built entirely out of red sandstone and white marble. Akbar himself oversaw the construction of this tomb until his death. The outer room of the main mausoleum is beautifully painted with the colors and it is all done by Jahangir, the son of Akbar and whatever we can see here it's more than 400 years old. Now I'll take you inside where we can see the tomb of Akbar. It is not allowed to use camera inside the main mausoleum, therefore I am not able to show you the proper view of Akbar's tomb. And now you can see the tomb of Aram Banu Begum, she was daughter of Akbar. That's a tomb for the second daughter of Akbar, Shukurun Nisha. Sikandra is located at a distance of 14 km from Taj Mahal on Agra Delhi Highway. Sikandra was named after Sikandar Lodi, a king from Lodi dynasty who made this place his capital in 1504. Just before the main entrance of Sikandra, you can visit a small but beautiful structure called Kanj Mahal. The palace was originally built as a residence or guest house for the ladies of the royal family, but it was later used as a shikarga or hunting lodge by the fourth Mughal emperor Jahangir. The inlaid mosaic work and glazed blue, green and orange tiles on the roof of balconies have been used gracefully to beautify the building. Because of these style work, the palace is known as Kanj Mahal. Brick masonry was used in the building which was plastered and then painted inside while finally carved red and stone was used outside. The Kanch Mahal built over two stories. It has a square room on each of its four sides. There are two openings to allow sunlight and air into the main hall. रानियों के साथ आता था तो यहीं रुकता था नीचे तैरकार रहते थे अंदर जावे अंदर अकबर का है सीधे जावे अकबर का मिलेगा